Zombies are cool, they're hip, they're now, and thus everyone's conducting experiments, making them faster, funnier, and more like Twilight so as to make lots and lots of money. And sure, they can attempt that, or they could try doing it right. High School of the Dead treats the classic monster with respect. In episode 1, Chung has single zombie can lead to an entire school being decimated, which is horrifying. Seeing the Gong Horde grabbing students, ripping them apart, and just when you think you're safe, BAM! They got you! Ah! And then there's the people's reactions, throwing friends into piles of zombies to save their own asses, or committing suicide so as not to become one of them. It all makes you think, how would you react? Which gives me nightmares. But people pissing themselves and dying is only half the fun of a good zombie show, and so we get to the heroes or survivors. The anime follows five students and a school nurse, each with their own talents, but my particular favourite has to be the Kendo Samurai. Now, to highlight the tone of the show, this character's main concern is that she may enjoy killing zombies too much, and where her sadistic side may scare away boys, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. There's then the intelligent tactician who realises before anyone else the zombies are blind, MacGyver Jr who builds a frickin' nail gun, the heroic leader who uses a baseball bat, and his waste of screen time. Sure, she knows Sojitsu, the art of the spear, but Ray too often plays the damsel in distress, which I can live without. Saying that, the only real complaint I have is the High School of the Dead is only 12 episodes long. 13 if you count the OVA where they all get high on a deserted island. That was strange. Actually, the fan service is a bit much too. Not that firing a sniper rifle over a woman's chest wasn't funny, it's just not what I want people to visualise when I say I'm an anime fan. Bathing scenes don't help either. SpaceMonkeyMafiaStudios.com